Okay, today's experiment is on water hardness, which is all about an iron called calcium, and sometimes magnesium to be fair, dissolved in our water without us seeing it, and we want to test how hard our water is. Now, water hardness has many advantages. You can't brew very good beer without hard water, but it also has its disadvantages. If you try and wash your clothes, you get left with a, a grimy substance on the surface of clothes called scum. Now, in order for us not to get this scum, we soften the water. And the particular industry is like anything to do with plumbing because you get calcium or fur inside your pipes with hard water. So a lot of people want to remove it, but first we have to find out how much hardness there is in the water, and that's what we're going to do today. But we also want to look at how to make a fair test. Now a fair test is where only two things vary the thing we are changing ourselves, and the thing we are measuring. Everything else is fixed. So in today's experiment, we're gonna add soap solution to water, and the more soap solution we add, before it starts to form a foamy kind of a bubble, the, the harder the water is. So soft water will form these bubbles really quickly, and hard water, which contains these calcium ions, won't form it quickly. We'll form it really slowly, and sometimes not at all if the water's really very, very hard. So, I'm going to add soap solution to water. Now, what do I need to uh, vary? Well, I vary the amount of soap solution myself, okay? And I measure how much is going to be forming the foam. That is called the dependent variable. The one that I change for different types, that's the independent variable, but they're the only things I can change, the type of water and the amount of soap. Everything else will stay fixed. So, the amount of water I add must be the same. That's a fixed variable. The type of container I use must be the same. That's a fixed variable. The size of each portion must be the same. Fixed variable, you see? The thing I use to measure it, the thing I use to stir it with, also the solution itself. Now to make the solution, I've dissolved just an ordinary bar of soap into some water. But there's still lumps in here, so to make it a fair test, I have to have a consistent solution. I'm going to strain it into this other container. So any lumps get left behind. Here you are, can you see the lumps? So I don't need them. Now we have liquid soap, and if I stir it the same amount each time, I can imagine that's making quite a nice noise on the video, I will get the same solution. It will be a fixed test. Okay, so, I'm now going to add 100 mils. Okay? So, how much soap will it take for the tap water to mix? So, as I said, I stir and I add a teaspoonful of soap and I stir. Absolutely nothing. Still nothing. Now, most of you doing this in the city will already get bubbles at this point, but I'm taking my water from a borehole, and so the water is very hard. Most groundwater is hard because there's calcium in the ground and it dissolves it as it goes through to the groundwater. Ah, here we go. What you're looking at on the surface is the scum. Now I'm going to take some bottled water. Of course, what I need to do is get rid of the tap water. I would usually rinse this and I measure out exactly a hundred of the bottled water and I repeat the experiment. Again, Stirring, mixing. Now straight. 
straight away with this bottle of water, you start to get bubbles. So already I have bubbles. One more. Yes. So, the tap water's less. And you try it for different types of water. Here, I am going to put this type of water. This is from a puddle. Can you see? I've got puddle water from outside. You can also use pond water, other things like that. Just two spoons and I got soap suds. Amazing. But that's because rainwater hasn't gone through the ground and so it's soft. So, what have we learned? We've learned that the amount of soap solution determines whether water's hard. If you need a lot of soap solution to produce bubbles, then you have hard water. If you need a little soap solution, then you have what's called soft water that has little or no calcium in it. Water from the ground, from a borehole or a well, that will provide very hard water, whereas puddled water doesn't. And somewhere in between, you have bottled water. Okay? I'd really like you to try that experiment yourself, but you must try different types of water. Don't try tap water in lots of different guises. It really doesn't work. Thanks very much, and I hope that helps you with your project.